Hey guys, part of the San Diego Summer Dive Series. We're here at La Jolla Cove today. So I'm gonna have Tim Olgetz, one of our dive masters here at Ocean Enterprises, tell you all about it. All right, Tim, you ready to tell us all about La Jolla Cove? Yeah, it's a beautiful day uh, here on Friday morning, so definitely. All right, so the diving here, is it good for all levels? It really is. You know, you're here in um, downtown La Jolla in uh, California, and it's good for all levels um, with a lot of rock reef um, spots out there. The biggest thing I would say for everybody is just make sure you have your buoyancy in check and make sure that you stay within your limits um, as you're diving the site. Perfect. And what's the topography like here? Well, like I just mentioned, you know, there's some rocks, there's some reefs on the inside in like that 10 to 20 foot range. When you go a little bit farther out into about that 40 foot range, sometimes you'll get to see um, some kelp beds. Perfect. And what's a good place to drop down here at the cove? Well, directly behind me is um, a pretty popular spot. It's also where a lot of snorkelers will, snorkelers will actually go. And there it's about 10 to 20 feet. The only thing there is sometimes it can be a little surgy if there are waves coming in and out, so that can hurt your visibility. But another very popular spot is if you go off to the left, there's a few buoys out there, not the ones directly behind me, which are the swim buoys, but off to the left, there's some diving buoys. And um, the most popular one is buoy A. And if you drop down there, uh, it drops into about 40 feet of water. And that's where you'll see a little bit more rocks, a little bit more reefs, the fish are a little bit bigger, and also the kelp beds are out there. Okay. And you kind of just answered a little bit of my next question, but besides, you know, some basic arability, what other marine life could you possibly see here? Oh, wow. Um, besides your Garibaldi, you know, you'll see some lobster. If you look inside some of the holes and crevices, you know, you got your sheep's head, you got your um, kelp bass, your giant kelp bass. Um, you also, you know, when you get on the outside, every now and then you might get lucky and you'll see some giant bat rays. And then, of course, you know, every now and then you get to see some taupe sharks and even your possible seven gills. Great. And besides your basic scuba setup, is there any other gear that you recommend having when you dive here? I would definitely recommend, of course, you know, due to the visibility, everybody always dive with the light. But then at a place like here, you know, you definitely want to have a compass, you know, and know how to use your compass. And then um, when you get out, take a heading on the cove, usually it's right around a 200 to work your way back. So compass is a must here at La Jolla Cove. Great.